All right, just a little bit uh, showing the progress here. I did start making the or mounting the uh, the items here, as we showed at the very end of the last update. Uh, so the S Mini is installed. Um, I did get it up there. I'm not able to see, but it's got a couple standoffs there. Um, the uh, ODMB, the motherboard for all the DCC ODs, is mounted. And I ran the, the wires. You can see the red wires there going up to the terminal board. That's going to go out to the actual blocks. So each of the individual blocks, uh, which are basically sub buses off the main, uh, will run into there. I can get some to kind of show this here without my fat fingers. Um, so they'll run into there. This is the track common. So this is actually going to come off of the main DCC bus. Um, I'll, I'll call it the positive. It'll come into here. That goes in, and then it actually, of course, feeds the whole board. Um, and then from there, obviously the DCC ODs are in the uh, in the circuit. But then it goes out to the individual block, and then the blocks have all the feeders uh, that go from the sub, I'll call it a sub bus, up to the track. And then the negative is returned. I, I returned it directly to the uh, main bus uh, return run. So as a train enters a block, obviously it, uh, it'll, it'll draw current up through, just say it's entering this block here, uh, it'll, you know, the current will actually physically run through up through the DCC OD, uh, which will then set uh, the V out. Uh, it, it, it knows that the block's occupied. That's going to feed back to the input of the S Mini. Uh, so then the program knows that the block's occupied. And from there, whatever programming uh, you do, normally you set signals or you can also activate crossings, etc., etc. So that's. Uh, just real briefly, I know all you guys that are the CMR, CMRI experts, you all know that, but uh, for anyone who's just kind of tinkering like I am and trying to learn about it, maybe that helps. Uh, so you see I got it labeled. Again, this is where I'll have the 5 volts on the ground. I just jump over the ground to there. This terminal, I'm going to buy a new one. I don't like this this 3-point board. It's, a, it's an older one, so I'm going to buy some new ones. Again, I'm going to be going next week, so uh, they should be here when I get back. Uh, but then this will be the 12 volts for the uh, motherboard there and then the five volts will come in for the S mini uh, and then the various output I just labeled them there with the outputs from the from the various cards on the board um, so just a quick uh, snapshot of the progress there uh, hope to get this finished up relatively soon uh, more to come as progress uh, moves ahead Thanks for watching. Right, a little bit of the progress here. I did get the uh, DCC ODs, you know, all the outputs from the motherboard wired down to the inputs and then the other inputs wired in. Not quite as neat as I had hoped, but uh, it worked. Um, so what I'm doing is just to, to show, for example, now I'm working on this set of input or outputs. Um, I'm going to 12 point terminal blocks so the railroad connections will come in here <clears throat> and then I run right up to the uh, to the S Mini, so if there ever is a problem, you just pop all these off and you take the board out and uh, reconnect it. You can see I got the power wire there, uh, the 5 volts and ground come in there, um, and then the 12 volts come in there, and the track common because that comes from the, the main bus. Um, so I take these, I've got them all measured, and I crimp that little, uh, that little doodad there on the end rather annoying it's kind of tedious work but you just got to keep plugging away at it um, so I have all of these formed you can see that's uh, the first one there I don't have those all cut yet just one of them and then I am I had decided to solder them so I just lay them out there in order so I don't lose track of where I am um, I'll use this little soldering iron there go ahead and solder the end of the of these just to be sure um, not necessarily you that you would have to but uh, but I am, and then they'll go inside the shells and be connected. So uh, maybe we'll just show it when it's done. I just want to kind of give a quick uh, progress uh, right. update here. There's uh, one set ready to go. Got it soldered up, and there's the other set soldered. And again, I had them lined up by number just so I don't lose track. Uh, so that one went fairly well. And then we'll uh, get the other one done, get it installed, and see how it looks all together. All right, so there it is. Again, not the neatest in the world, but... Uh, Got the job done uh, and what this one thing I do uh, prior to getting another cup of coffee just take the fluke meter and I just walk down every connection just, just to make sure I have these landed correctly so I just uh, 
And I did that for every one. I'm not going to run through that, but I run down the entire board and then make sure I have these landed correctly. I actually had four of these. Uh, I had two and three and then four and five swapped. Uh, but I saw it visually because the cables didn't look quite right. But uh, So there's that. So uh, this is the, you know, the one set of outputs. This will be going out mostly controlling signals uh, and some of the switch machines. Uh, so I got one more set of 24 to do. Um, just in, in interest, this to do this. I started this morning. This probably took me about two hours, um, and that's including you know having these actually already formed. So to to, to strip this end, do the crimp, um, uh, take it over, solder it, and then line up and cut all of these uh, to size. It was about two hours. So I probably have two more hours of work, actually a little bit more, maybe two and a half by the time I actually cut and form all these and then go through and do the same thing. So definitely uh, takes a fair amount of time, but then this board will be done. Um, it's just, of course, a matter of putting in the, the DCC ODs and then mounting it on the layout. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to mount it yet. I have an idea, uh, but more to come on that uh, when I get to that point. All right, here it is. This is the... Uh, the first S mini board got it done tonight. It's uh, Memorial Day 2015. So a quick thanks to all the veterans out there, everyone who served uh, in any branch of the armed services. Appreciate everyone's service and all you've done to keep our country safe. God bless you all. Um, this is the uh, how it's going to look. This is the first one. Uh, got to say it got done tonight. And in celebration, there's my uh, Alexander Keese Amber Ale. Thank you, Canada, for the good beer. Um, so it's all done. Uh, these are the inputs over here. Uh, got them labeled because they're probably not going to change uh, too much. Uh, the other 12 inputs come off the, uh, the motherboard there for the DCC ODs. Um, again, that uh, is right there. That's the track common. Basically the positive of the DCC bus comes in and then each of the blocks run out from, uh, from here. They go out to the blocks. And then all the feeders come off of those basically sub blocks. Um, so that's how that works. And then the, the ground just goes, the, re, the return goes right through the main bus return. Uh, got the power coming in, the 12 volts ground and 5 volts there. Uh, again, this will go back. This will come from the computer. This will go over to the next node, um, which I'm going to change things up a little bit. Uh, working with uh, Mark Robertson at Slick Electronics, I actually sent back two of my unopened S minis and he gave me credit for those and I purchased stuff to do one of the um, SU6 I believe it's it's uh, pronounced uh, basically a maxi node um, with uh, the DN 32s and D out 32s uh, and the motherboard and then the S SU6 I think that's how you say it uh, controller board it's just gonna be more uh, more I.O. lines than I need, so I'm going to combine, basically what was going to be S-Mini 2 and 3 are going to be combined into the Maxi node, and I'm going to make one more, almost exactly like this, um, that'll be for the other S-Mini that'll come after the, the Maxi node, that'll control the, the far end of the layout, so. So there it is, uh, pretty much uh, all set. Um, now I just need to uh, get this bad boy up and mount it on the layout. Um, obviously get the detect the DCC ODs mounted in there. I mean, I have them over here, they're done. Um, just in, to, for ease of mounting, I just didn't have them inside this board here. Uh, so I might just pull those out and put them in, or have to make 12 more, don't know yet. Um, and then make one more board. So yeah, we're really looking forward to that because all this wiring is kind of a pain. I'm not quite as neat as I'd liked, but uh, I don't think it looks that bad. Hey, for an amateur, I think it's okay. So there it is. Uh, so again, uh, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, more updates as uh, as we progress along here. All right, so here it is mounted on the layout. Um, you can see where it's going to sit. Got it set here, and uh, all of these wires are all the block wires that are temporarily attached here. Um, my track common will come in here, and then all these, this mess will go right there, and that'll be done. And then I got to bring all the, of course, all the inputs inputts in, and uh, well, I had to redo that because that's going to the maxi node, not to S mini two like it was before. But uh, so that's where I got it. So 
Now I got some hooking up to do here and wires to run in here, inputs and uh, and then outputs. Kind of see where that's sitting. That's going to be, pardon me. So that's there under the layout. That's uh, right below Wallace Junction there. That's where that'll be. Sit back a little bit. That's when I put the fascia and have a curtain come down. Won't be too visible. Um, but you will be able to look in there and see the the block occupancy lights. So, so that is it for now. I've got a bit more work to do. Uh, I'm going to start making another one just like this one. And once I get all the maxi node parts in, make that one up. And hopefully before too long, get everything hooked up and start doing it. And then, of course, we also got to do some track painting, detailing, and start scenery. So, a lot to do. All right, that's it for now. Now we have a special treat for you. Thanks.